Cloud can try to pressure it, but it's going to be hard. Yep. Uh, still, man, super surprising result. After game number one, Cloud was 03-06 in this season of the North American Star League. Well, TSL Ian uh, was 3061. So, what were the odds of Cloud winning game number one? Now, of course, guys, if you are a subscriber to the North American Star League, you can participate in our chat, and we have a little uh, betting system going on as well where people bet on points. Now, I don't know the statistics for this series, but I am pretty damn sure that pretty much everybody bet all their points on the young, and they're starting to shiver a little bit, man. Oh, man, that would be a fantastic upset. Would love to see it, man. I love Cloud. He's a great player and a, and a good guy. That would be awesome motivation as well. Cloud is one of the players who is going to Dream Act Bucharest this weekend as well. Uh, if you did not have any plans yet for your weekend, other than watching us, of course, at the North American Star League, you want to make sure to check out Dream Act Bucharest on the European Times because I think it's going to be another sick event. Yeah, uh, uh, Dream Hack always is fantastic, man. They're, they're I've never seen a Dream Hack that was, that was worse mm. than the one before it. It just keeps oh, getting better and better. That's good. You know... I went to DreamHack twice as a Warcraft 3 player, and twice I finished fourth place. That's pretty sad, man. Yeah, I was pretty good. Or did I finish fifth or sixth? At least I always finished the one round before I would get money. That's <laughs> oh, <laughs> reminds me of Tarson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, we see a hatch first over here by Hyun, so much more standard Hyun in game number two. Cloud going for command center first once more, man. He's saying, I'm not afraid. Yes, you nine pulled me the first game. I don't care. Why do you think he went for nine pull rather than... Uh, do you think if he would have gone for a six or uh, like, let's say a seven pull, that those links would have been there in time? Maybe. I mean... It was pretty close. This uh, I mean, I, w I've, I wish that I could analyze it better. I've, I've not really practiced nine pull against Terran. With, with a drone pool, you don't, Ben. That disappoints me. <laughs> I thought if there was any Zerg out there that you would know all about this. <laughs> it's funny because there was a thread on Team Liquid talking about six pooling to GM. I don't know if you ever caught that. Yes, uh, I saw that one. But the guy did discuss how to six pool against Terran, and he said the drone pool is a very important part of it. Um, Reminds me of this other guy. Um, uh, who someone else made a really uh, ridiculous pose of how to get to GM. I, I even forgot which race he plays. Cause, but I know that I remember that he posted a replay where he did it against me. Oh no, it was this Terran who went uh, like three racks and then uh, only made Marines. Uh, like no gas, three racks, Marines. I and remember then that one too. It was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, and he beat me one game and then he like, used it as an instruction on how to get GM. Ball. And, uh, so everybody could see how I died to this Marine pool. <laughs> it made me kind of sad. You know what's funny is I think I have a I was I, I lost to that same guy too. I think my replay was was in that pack as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's kind of laughs> this guy's like sitting at home cheesing the NHL casters and he's like, these guys. That was so long ago. They man. know nothing about this game. <laughs> that was yeah, it was like before I had ever casted a game. It was a good uh, more than a good year ago. And the funny thing is that they also showed like two or three games where this is how you defend against this. And that's like the ultimate ego boost. And it was a replay of, I think, Saz and the Baby Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like shaking my head like, oh, I should have been in that list. Young just droning up and pretty quick factory over here for Cloud. Now some people out there might watch a lot of StarCraft, some people might watch a little bit less. And they're like, why are you guys hyping up this young guy so much? Yes, I heard that he won 10 IPL Fight Nights on the road. Did he do anything else? Well, basically, Hyun wins every single online cup out there. It's insane how many online cups Hyun has won. He wins Zota Cups in North America. On Europe, he has won three monthly Go for StarCraft 2 finals on the road. So that means that at least every month he won uh, one go for StarCraft 2, if not more, on a Sunday. And then he used those points to qualify for the monthly final where the prize pool is 500 euro, which is, I really think, a lot for an online tournament. And he won that three times on a row, man. It's, it's, it's not even funny. It's a good day's work, man. Eon makes a really good living out of winning online tournaments. Play an online tournament for a day, win 700 bucks? Yeah, that's, uh, I'd be pretty happy with that. I would be exceptionally happy with that. Man. I can't recall. I, I would it. be happy with second place in that tournament. It pays nothing. <laughs> I'd be happy if I win the best of three. Roach Warren going down for Hyun. We have to wonder if that's for devious things or if he's just going to use it defensively, given the fact that he's already at 35 drones. And, uh, well, there's six lanes. Will he, uh, let's just watch to see if he makes a bunch of overlords. Usually. Um, that's one of the great things that you can watch. If you see two, three overlords at a time, it says, hey, I want to make a big yeah. swell of units. It's a little bit late, though, Ben, as uh, the first Banshee is already making its way across the map. Uh, or No, actually, that's not true. Uh, soon, but the first Helene is already making its way across the map. I'd be surprised if Young gets very aggressive. He is making three overlords, but uh, I don't think he's going to do it. I think he might make a few defensive roaches, but I definitely don't think he plans on being aggressive. 
Uh, it's going to be at least seven roaches, okay. which is uh, more than you would normally see for yeah. purely for defense. But I don't. I, I, I agree with you. I don't think he's going to have a good time if he crosses the map with these roaches because uh, Banshees will basically be raining down on him the whole yeah, way. He's already running up a little bit behind this man. I think it's just purely for defensive purposes. Or maybe even at least to keep the, ro the Banshees on the right side of the map. That's another way to be aggressive. Like, yes, I am going to lose these units, but because of that, I'm still mining way more than you because I'm not losing any drones uh, to the Banshees that you perhaps had in mind to harass me with. But uh, as you speculated, Kevin, he's just using these for defensive purposes. Three roaches left at the third base. Four roaches on the Zelnaga Tower, where they will be Sport greeting the aliens. And uh, he does spore up. So he's going to be very well prepared to deal with this Banshee play. Mm -hmm. uh, Banshee actually did not fly in because there was a queen. Uh, Cloak did finish up, so he basically had a nice... <laughs> he could have had free reign over this base for a good 15, 20 seconds, Ben. Carla kind of uh, dropping the ball on that one. Sometimes it can be really hard to know exactly what you're flying into, though. Uh, it could be a spore back there. Uh, didn't necessarily know how much build time was remaining on the one spore that Hyun was working on. Uh, right now, Hyun is just going to dance around, but Hyun looks really, really well prepared. Uh, queens and ho and queen mm. queens and roaches and spores at every base. Uh, I think Hyun is. Uh, I think Hyun is pretty fine. He is supply block right now for a short amount of time. A little bit sloppy, but other than that, he has spores in really good positions, just making it annoying for Cloud even to fly around. Uh, he might be able to pick up a few drones over here. He has to be careful, he's flying right across the spore crawler. He's gonna lose his first banshee, he's gonna lose his second banshee uh, as ow, well. Wow, that hurts, man. At the same time, he also yeah. committed his roaches into the third base, killed a couple of drones, but uh, not that many. Wow, that Three really did not total. go well. Those were two banshees with Cloak Ben, and Hyun has lost three workers, and those were actually to the Banshees. Uh, to the Hellions, perhaps. Hellions going to continue running around. Four Hellions will make their way up into the main base. There's nothing back right. there to defend, so this is going to do a, at least oh, moderate amounts of damage. Three, uh, three downs down so far. Here come the links, though. Those links are not going to be enough, I think. Beautiful positioning over here on these Hellions by Carlo. Yeah, you know, even though these links aren't enough, they bought the time yeah. for the Roaches to get in position, and Hyun's done a fantastic job of avoiding the worst of this damage. He's lost five drones total. And uh, has been continuing to add to his drone count this whole time. He's at 63 workers right now, so just great play. Uh, Cloud playing well, too, though. He's got his third base down. He's got his fourth base building, and he's transitioning into Big Mac style. MVP style, Ben. It also reminds me of uh, Juan, also known as uh, Major, of course. Major loves to copy MVP, so that's no surprise. Uh, Major is often a little bit more reckless with his Hellions. Uh, he likes to just rally those Hellions in. And I've seen in games where he did barely any damage with his first 15 Hellions, but then with the next five Hellions, he suddenly killed 22 drones. Blue Flame is not on the way at four Carlo, and most of the time the real damage is going to be dealt when Blue Flame is ready, but we'll see. I saw so many games of Major on this map, man. I can dream his place now. I've seen so many games on this map, period. Yeah. I've seen so many ZBZs on this map, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I'm a top-level ZBZ player on this map. Probably. Because <laughs> all I... <laughs> Uh, all I know is that I'm going to at least survive for a good 20 minutes because I know that everybody just maxes out after a small bailing phase. <laughs> His overlord will fall. Young getting a good scout off. Uh, pretty much knows what he's facing. Even uh, spotted the fort overthrow and he spotted these factories as well. Spotted the double armory. So Young knows everything, Ben. And he is getting dropped. So we might see some roach drop yes, action over I here as well. I think that's exactly what we're going to see. I love it. I think this is the absolute best way to play against this new mech style. Uh, you can drop right on top of the army. You can drop in the main base when the army is out of position, but drop in general is just phenomenal. You never want to walk into a mech army uh, because when it's sieged up, when it's static, it is so, so strong. But by dropping on top of it, you eliminate all the damage you take when you're coming and going, and uh, and you can just basically kill everything. Great uh, great job by Cloud continuing mm -hmm. to macro up. He's got his fourth base now landing and his fifth base building. How important do you think Mistress are meant to deal with? Uh, I think they're hugely, hugely important. And I think Cloud's doing a great job uh, recognizing that drop is a vulnerability and adding uh, these turret rings around his bases. Got quite a few banings on the map over here as well, Ben, for Eon. Uh, Upgrade-wise, Eon is currently at 1-1. One, one. He is working on uh, one for the Roaches as well and a second armor upgrade. A little bit surprised to see him uh, preferring the plus one for the Roaches over plus two. Here comes the Overlords, and what will Hyun drop on? Does he want to hit SCVs? Does he want to go straight after the army? We're going to have to wait and see. 
It looks like he is, in fact, going to just oh, walk right wow, into the main Those base. doors are so exposed. Oh, those doors are doomed, Kevin, to lead a, a, lead a very short life. Roach is just going to come over landing right on top of everything. And this is exactly what we talked about. When you when you can just immediately fight the army, you, you, you're, you're oh, so well, much actually, more ben, effective. Those stores are doing a really, really good job supporting. The Banshee is supporting with a lot of damage over here as well. Roaches and Queens being unloaded right now, but in a very awkward position. Hyung could have done this a little bit better. Uh, he's still doing fine, I, I think guess. he's doing great, man. He's just created a 70 supply lead for himself, Kevin, and he's still yeah, doing some damage most here. Most of those Roaches are in production, though, and if all those Queens fall, it gets a little bit more dicey. He's just going to load up into those overlords <laughs> oh, yeah. where they're going to be nice and safe against the Banshees. Every Thor has died. Every yeah. siege tank has died. Well, there are a few siege tanks which are being repaired in the main base. He's going to siege up right now as well. Young's going to unload the Queens again, and he does still have vision because of this Overseer. Beautiful play by Young. Yeah, really cute Man. moves here using the uh, Oh, Queens picking it up moves. again. This is, uh, well, today we see so many cool pickups by the Zerg players. Uh, Dario doing some excellent pickups against I feel like I've been saying it for a while, man. Roach Drop is the next evolution of, uh, of ZVT, and uh, we've seen it now twice today. As uh, we here come the big reinforcements, Kevin, and, and maybe maybe we say Cloud did an okay job of defending that last push. How does he defend this one? Yeah, that's going to be hard, certainly, because he has nothing, Ben, to snipe these overlords. Tanks are super exposed right now. The Heon is maxed out. Are you kidding me? This is just what happens, man. The mech player cannot reload. The Zerg player, of course, can. Uh, dropping in the natural, attacking in the third base, dropping on tanks up in the main. Beautiful play from Hyun, and Cloud is going to have no choice but to tap out here very, very soon. It's all over with the crying. <laughs> I think the crying has probably already started, if I know Carlo. <laughs> As uh, Planetary looks like it's going to be able to clean up a lot of these roaches in the third base. The problem is just the fact that the entire main is basically forfeit at this point. This really seems to be the biggest weakness of this uh, playstyle, Ben, and I really have to applaud you because you were one of the first players, the, the very first night we saw MVP really displaying this style. You already said it from the very get-go. You said, I think Roach Drop is going to be excellent against this, and it took a few weeks before this was commonly accepted as, yes, Roach Drop is going to be very strong against this MVP mech, but we see it more and more and more often that uh, Terran players are going to have a really hard time if they go for this build, if they make so many command centers, if they make so many benches, make a lot of Hellions. The, the real units, it takes quite a while yeah. before there is a reasonable amount it of tours out. It takes a really long time. And I don't, I really don't know what the, what the good answer for Terran is. Maybe it's a million turrets. Maybe it's getting eight Vikings or so out so you can try to shoot down overlords yeah. and stuff. I mean, when you commit to a lot of roaches, you don't really have that many resources for other things. But quite frankly, I just think it's uh I it's, think it's I do think those tours were too exposed by Carlo. Because there were just three tours standing there. The tanks, there, was, there, there were no tanks sieged anywhere. Like if you have a real, if you make it hard for those roaches to move around, if you make it a tight area, those siege tanks are going to do a lot of damage. Now, of course, this is daybreak, so it's quite open. There's always a lot of space. But those yeah. tours were super exposed. The, the other problem, though, is if you, if you clump everything up and you put it all in one spot, then you're just going to get dropped somewhere else. And, and yeah, now you have to move. Now things are going to spread out. I, I, it's just really super hard for Terran to deal with that kind of play if they go for using that, that kind of build. So that's a beautiful stalker of Ben. There's always an answer. Strategy games, man. That last game, buddy, but oh. go to my. I have to correct PC. though. Two years later, we still don't have an answer on the roach. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Go to my PC. Remote access to your computer from anywhere on the planet. Get special discount on go to my PC software by visiting nasl.tv slash p slash go to my PC. We're gonna take a short break. Game number three: Cloud versus Hyun. That's coming up after this.